Okay, Gemini, so hopefully you've seen your channeled messages. I am so sorry about those messages. <laughs> I really am. But uh, y'all got to be dealing with a lot of narcissism and control, man. And even I want to back away from it. Like, so I'm feeling for a lot of you, like I said, a lot of restrictions, a lot of like gaslighting energies. And uh, I think it's getting worse. Like, I don't think it's getting any better. I think it's getting worse of someone being around you that's making you feel uncomfortable that you can't do or say or be or say whatever it is that you want. And someone is making the other person feel intimidated, like is using intimidation or like uh, a lot of complaining and bitching and moaning, like loads of it, like loads of it, like someone for like, like, cause I'm a Gemini moon. So within my channel, a load of that predictions of that coming up for me, but like, you know, in your reading, I, all I keep feeling is, is that I don't, I don't want to be a part of it. You know, that's what I feel as if like, oh, I'm backing away. Like, just, <laughs> like it's a very uh, a controlled environment around anything to do on mul multimedia or social media. Okay. And also like living a, with a person or married to or home with or something like that, where there's a fucking hell of a lot of gaslighting energy here. And uh, well, that was in your channel stuff. I'm hoping this is going to be different, but just check it out and see what you think <laughs> okay if it relates to you it does but i can feel a hell of a lot of complaints coming up gemini i really can so let's see what's going on with you guys through august gemini through august gemini summer rising venus <laughs> i hear julian the name julian or jason justin jasmine jack jackie uh, jay but like um justice some of their own libra okay or number two but like uh yeah Sis, I'm also hearing someone's sister. Also, my sister. Some of you have got a, a huge family thing going on with your sister or brother. Your sister or brother, okay. Huge. Or mother, they keep saying mother for some of you. Mother. I don't know. Sister, mother or brother. But family thing, like a, I don't know. Because I just heard, if your name's not down, you're not coming in. Darren, Dan, Danny, D, Devil, Devi, Evie, Devi, Steve, Stevie. Um, but like, uh, yeah, like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to back away from the energy because it feels very confusing. Let's see. So, Gemini, Sunday Rising, Venus, and Jupiter 4... Um, August so six of pentacles so some of you are working really hard some of you are just a housewife or a mum okay not just <laughs> I'm hearing that I am a cleaner my name is Tina cleaner Tina okay and I'm trying to clear up the past and clean things up some of you physically are doing like a spring clean or a summer clean or the name summer okay I definitely keep hearing that, the name Summers or Summer, okay, but like um, the summit also, so something to do around him <laughs> being extremely hot, it really is, but like uh, some kind of like summit, okay, or sump hole, something to do with like around water leaking or something, like I said, it was this summit, like a sump hole, uh, like a water leak or something, okay, or someone's leaking some kind of information to another person, because I'm hearing it's being leaked, like it's leaking water, okay, or it's um, like a summit and a sump hole, okay, so we don't really have them around here, but like, a, 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 what do you call them when you, like, if you go outside, you have a sump hole where everything goes, okay, so something like that, I don't know why I'm picking up that, but a sump hole or a summit, okay, um, I'm also hearing I'm suing someone, like I'm going to sue them, and take them to court and sue the person. Or some of you, or the name Susan, or Sue, okay? But like uh, some of you are still trying to sue the people that you're not took to court, okay? Like I said in the last Taurus reading, if, you are, if you've got evidence, you have to have evidence. If you're not, it's best to drop it and move on, okay? But for some of you, I'm hearing that I'm actually going to sue this company for something that they're doing or saying. Here and try and sue the person here. Um, some of you, you, like I said, you're just naturally doing a spring clean, okay, 
and trying to tidy up things to, to, because you have a replacement. I'm hearing I have a work placement. Some of you, you've got a work placement. Okay, so I'm hearing like coursework. People that are studying something and it's like coursework. Okay, so I don't know what happens normally when you're an adult and you do those, but like uh, kids, when I was at school, we used to go to a place like Huntstown and things, okay, and um, used to do coursework, ge uh, geography or geology and stuff, and look at like f fossils and things, like a ge geometrist or something. Some of you have got to go to a chiropractor or something here around like, I don't know, because I'm picking up someone's back, they may have hurt their back or something, and they have to go to a chiropractor or a, uh, whatever that's called, but like uh, something. Because um, it's medical, like I might need to take some, because I'm hearing anti-inflammatory or flams or flammy, flammy, Fleming, Fleming, the name Fleming. Okay. Um, but, or Glenny, like you're hearing Glen or Glenny or someone from Scotland, Glen from the Glen. Um, but yeah, I keep hearing like anti-inflammatory or something that you might have to take here. Um, some of you, like I said, you're doing a spring cleaning or you are a physical cleaner itself, but there is something that's stopping you from doing it. Stopping you from doing it? No. Is it an ailment? Like having to take a course of tablets? Having to take a course of tablets? Some of you could be like um, on um, cholesterol. I keep hearing cholesterol cholesterol tablets and stuff like that um, but I'm having to go and get it checked my cholesterol levels checked or something that could be coming up for you because this is having to go to like a chemist in order to pick it up a subscription okay some of you are looking to try and pick up your subscription rate or cancel my subscription for the resurrection and your name's Jim Jelly and Juice and Justin Jasmine okay for the resurrection could be dealing with a Scorpio energy somewhere for a lot of you. Cancel my subscription to the resurrection. I got some friends inside. Somebody could be in prison here. And this is like having a... I'm hearing like, I've got some friends inside. Okay, and I need you to come in and give me some stuff. So some of you are taking drugs or stuff into a person that could be in prison. Or you're going to see, take the family, okay the children and the kids over to grandmas and grandparents or go into prison and you have to get an audit, okay? And you have to like book it in order to be able to go. So that might be anything prison. I'm also hearing for a lot of you, you're having to take a statement down. I'm having to take a Stacy or statement or Steve and take a statement, okay? Or a complainment or complaining, but also take statements, okay? For a lot of you. I mean, why on earth people... I'm, I keep getting this feeling. I'm going to have to quickly go back to it. Some people are trying to take down other people from saying things on YouTube. <laughs> like freedom of speech. Okay. Like twin flame tarot people or God knows what else are trying to take other people down from freedom of speech. Don't know why I'm getting that one. But like, uh, something like that. I don't like what you're saying on your own thing. <laughs> but like, uh, yeah. I don't like the way you carry yourself. I don't like what you do and say and be honest. I can't stand that. I'd rather people fucking lie to me. <laughs> is what I'm hearing. Like, I don't like hearing the truth. I don't want to know anything about myself. Okay, I'm just interested in the other person. <laughs> I'm really picking up complaints. I'd, will you please stop keep telling me about my other person or me like I don't want to listen to anything about me I just want to know about them or M or Emily or Melissa or Maria or Matilda but I don't want to know anything about myself why do you keep telling me things about myself I just want to hear about what's going on with them <laughs> they probably think you're a narc <laughs> yeah, I don't know but like I keep hearing I don't want to know about what's going on with you I just want to know about what's going on with them that's all <laughs> you're giving me too many free readings that don't make any sense yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's here. It is. You watch when I put this out. Come back and check the come back and check the comment section. <laughs> yeah. Unless I've already blocked the people. Let's see. Um, 
it's weird when you're a medium and you channel your own stuff. It's like I said, it's fucking peculiar. But let's see. I've had people that angry uh, come at me and say, you're not a channeler, you don't belong with a spiritual community and stuff. I'm not a part of a spirit. There is no spiritual community. Do you know these people that have tarot card channels? <laughs> Do you know them? Are you part of their life? A spiritual community. <laughs> it's so fucking Mandela effect, it's sickening. It's a bit like light workers. <laughs> it's like, please tell me that people are not still calling themselves like a beacon of light, of a light worker, and I'm here to save the universe. No, like, no. You'll soon, I mean, like I said, you're probably taking offence to that, but trust me, by the time you've done it as long as I have, which is around 15 years, you'll soon realise what light working is really fucking about. No. I've said this to everybody. I'm a dark worker. I have a Scorpio rising. We are in purgatory as we speak. Okay, so we're paying back karmic debt and hell. Okay, so you know, uh, try and shine a light in purgatory to work your way out of it. You don't get to the end until you die, right? So, you know, <laughs> I, fucking, I guarantee you, or the name Gary or Tina, I guarantee you that nobody would have known what a light worker is unless they'd gone on Google or Facebook to look up what light worker meant. I bet nobody would have ever really come out with the description of Lightworker. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> just It's just the Mandela effect. That's all it is. Okay. Um, I don't know. But by now, I just get sick to death of those kind of energies. <laughs> you know, the Lightworkers. <laughs> I mean, how's your light working? Are you attracting in loads of narcissism? Is that how good your light works, is it? <laughs> Unless your lights are out. I don't know. But um, you could be dealing with a Virgo energy here somewhere, but or nine, Gemini, for August. Oh, really? Really? There you go. There you go. A few, very few in this actual deck itself are actually in reverse. This one is. This is an absolute raving lunatic around this person or this person. I don't care. I don't care who it is. Okay. But this, in reverse, this is a difficult card in order to read. This is 100% confusion, gaslighting, and narcissism that is happening to a person. Now, because when you work through the energy of nine and denial, okay, if a person's feelings are not quite the same as what they did, you can have someone that remains persistent to try and pull blood out of a stone and try and get information out of someone that doesn't want to speak or say anything. Right. Because your channeled stuff is around, like, I feel restricted of not being able to do or say anything because of energies of how I feel. And if what I feel is confused, that's not a good scenario to be in. Okay. So what I don't want in my life, obviously, is gaslighting and narcissism. If there is any... It's basically working your way through to get rid of it, okay? So, like I said, you've got an energy here of somebody that is trying or is consistent with trying to gaslight a person. This is also inbred into the family, Jenna. This is also in the family. Six is always family to me, so it's mother, father, sibling, brother. And you could be watching this saying, I'm looking... For this reading to cross watch of what's going on with my partner not knowing really that this actual message is around where these could be around people's families okay families okay so meaning that you could have a brother a sister a daughter and a son and a stepfather and a father and all of those people may have that energy of capricorn or gemini of six six within a sun moon rising venus jupiter of an energy that is soul group, soul group, okay, paradox energies, okay, so how it turns up is, is the person that you're physically dealing with, okay, because energy changes, when you think you're getting away with it, you bump into another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, that's how strong light working is, okay, so you are in purgatory, nine, okay, living in purgatory, with a fight for a chance to say, fuck everybody else, I'm more, more important than anyone else, 
If I'm confused, then you're out. Okay, then you're out. If you are not leaving and you are in a circumstance that is unpredictable of you physically ever really coming up with two and two and hoping that one day Superman's going to come down and save you, no. It's because you have to get divorced. You have to move. Okay, if it's that bad, you have to move. If you're married, a tarot card reader or reading is not going to sort out the situation that is designed for you to sort out. Okay, your own shit, basically. Okay, so if you're in deep doo doo and deep shit, okay, then the only person that's ever really going to get out of that is yourself. Okay, so that's for people that could well be married, living with a person that is unbearable. Okay, and you have children with the people or the person, and it's unbearable. Okay, so the only thing you're going to be able to ever really do is move. Okay, or get divorced. Okay. Now, some of you here, this is around your work, your environment of work, wherever, even myself, or the name Trevor. But wherever, wherever it is, Trevor, within your work environment, there are narcissistic people around your work. If you are at home and you are very wary of a person that is at home with you, control. If you are with a partner and it's love, and it's around you anywhere. Control. Gaslighting energy. Okay. So anything that is of where you're looking for an answer, you're not going to find it because you already know. So if you are metaphysically connected with someone from out of space and planet Mars, it's never really going to happen. That's you gaslighting yourself. Because you're thinking that a metaphysical person is controlling because their feelings are not the same as yours. That's why I have six, right? Which means that somebody could naturally feelings might not be as strong as what they was once before. Okay, came out for other readings. So a person would see the other person as either one, the gaslighting party that stops the energy, or the gaslighting party that thinks the other person is basically throwing up walls to protect themselves against somebody where their feelings have changed. Okay. My feelings are not the way you think, okay? Like I said, it because if you've got metaphysical connection and break up and not speaking and not talking, that's because a person's feelings have changed. If you force out feelings from a person, okay, and you don't get any, and you don't find an answer to why, it's probably because they're just feelings have gone. There isn't any, okay? It's the fastest cake on earth, it's just gone. Okay, so this person's either physically not here anymore and it's a person that is suffering through grief, panic attacks, anxiety, heart attack. Somebody could have let, uh, lost someone through a heart attack is what I'm hearing. Or like, because um, this is lost. This is, this is lost. This is completely lost, right? So it might be like, com like really fearing the fact or they're saying that someone physically has gone and someone's grief stricken like unable to be able to move on yet if you've had an argument and you've split up because this is slightly early than august if you're kind of going through this energy now it's telling me that this energy is now lost its strength because of all of the energy that's accumulated after some time somebody's got very weary and bored of the energy because this is also boredom depression borderline schizophrenia borderline depressed okay schizophrenic like narcissistic controlling gaslighting energy okay and also lost one's mind okay so they can come up with any scenario it doesn't have to be a verbo okay but can come up with any kind of scenario to make a person believe that it's their fault okay so if a person says i'm sorry but i'm just not into it anymore the feelings have gone because this is a rotten energy it's oil so it's gone off, right? Something that's stale is off. Rotten, Rotterdam, Amsterdam. But it's gone off. It's rotten. It's kind of like it's not working, okay? So it's an energy within itself that says whatever it is that you're going through here is not working, okay? <clears throat> so somebody here may not even be working at all, like physically earning any money or working at all, 
Okay. Let's see, Gemini, Sun, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node for August. Oh, you got another one in reverse. That oh, Jesus. I've got to take it. It flew out in reverse. If it does, I'll take it. Sagittarius for me, but Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius for any of you. Placement of paradox energy because it's a queen, which means the fire sign numerology also. Okay, so you have to follow the video if you've just seen the channel. Follow the video that explains to you how I read within numerology because this is a paradox and what a paradox would mean. Okay, so it, this is not a good scenario here. This is bipolar, depressed, borderline schizophrenic, like manic depressant, like, because it's bipolar. Both of these in the upright position is oil and water, well, basically oil and fire, okay? So it's like somebody that could be bipolar. It could be someone that's just basically lost their fucking mind altogether, okay? But like both of these energies combined make an energy in reverse, make it pretty much impossible to be able to figure out someone's mind because this is gaslighting to its highest extent here. Okay, within the cards. But, you know, because that's one minute I'm Jackal, the next minute I'm Hyde. One minute I'm Jackie, the next minute I'm this. It's like, it's a fuse that's lit of like, you know, somebody's temper or somebody's like situation within their head and their mind they're one thing one day and then they become another thing another day and you're kind of like man i can't i just can't i just the energy's not there I, you're not going to do this anymore so it's turned down it's turned off it's like it doesn't have to be anything bad like i said if it's a connection it's wearing off it's not as strong as what it was before because of these energies because of these energies because these could be over analytical energies analyzing something to its highest degree putting two and two together and coming up with fucking 49. Okay, so like, you know, whoever this is that's doing it to you or you with them, the energy is worn off. This spell or this witchcraft or whatever it is that all you believe in, it's all wore off, it's all worn out, okay? Some of you are trying to take down witches, but I would say you've, you've got to have seen their altar, you've got to have seen sacrifice, you've got to have seen blood, you can't have got it from a tarot card reading. You cannot have basically just heard it from a, a narcissistic friend that's letting you know that other people may be doing it. No. You have got to have seen it, seen it with your own eyes. Physically walked in on people wearing hood and masks and cloths and walked into a building where they're sacrificial and they've got like scribes all over the floor and they're chucking piss to a fire. Stuff like that, okay? For that to be real and not lose your mind, make sure that you've witnessed it and seen it with your own eyes first. Okay, here. Yeah. Because like I said, when you're metaphysically connected and control and lost your mind, you'll believe that other people are doing shit because you can't get to grips of reality. And because you can't, you'll believe in fucking anything, you will. Okay, because it's metaphysical, it's not real. Okay, so you'll start to want to believe in all of that and uh, cause all of these energies Whew, Jesus man look everything is pretty much upright five of wands in reverse the next card I think there's probably only about five or six in this deck that's fucking upside down this is why I had to check everything there's a couple of three but majority oh, there is a couple of three some of them are like I said majority are upright but It's not a good scenario. It's five again. You see, this could be a Sagittarian placement. It could be Sagittarius. But because it's five, you see, Sagittarius or Taurus energy, maybe. Or fire. You've got a lot of fire energy. Life path five, life path six. But this is equivocally lost one's mind here. This is like took things too far. Took everything too far or took everything from a person. Like physically left them uh, stranded, abandoned, in the middle of nowhere. Just I hope none of you ever went over to Australia to see that person. <laughs> but like equivocally abandoned the person in the in the middle of nowhere. Okay, like I said, don't ever go over places to see what you say is called Z twin flames, 
and one lives in Britain, say, and one lives in Australia, or one lives in Britain, one lives in America, and stuff like that. Don't never bank your energy off, you know what, I'm going to throw all my eggs in, in one basket, I've never seen the person, I've never spent time with them, I'm going to go and book a two week holiday over with my twin flame, and basically leave myself in this energy of being abandoned in the middle of nowhere, okay. So be very cautious and careful of you guys that are metaphysically connected with someone that lives from out of space, because you'll end up in a complete bind if you do that, okay. So you've got someone here, this person themselves could be an absolute deep shit doo-doo, is being controlled by everybody within this one card here, okay, because this is an environmental card of six, okay, so within the environment here, this could be house, home, okay, and completely and utterly now just lost my mind because of the amount of control and narcissism that's in this reading itself. Now, like I said, if someone is just denying a feeling, that is not control of narcissism. It's just because this is, these are all turned off, turned down, don't want to know anymore. Okay. So if a feeling is a feeling, if it said no, it means no. Okay. If you've got an energy that remains persistent to keep controlling a person, then like I said, you have to leave. You have to leave. Okay. So, I mean, what turn up for the books? But uh, anyway... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at the rest of your reading. It goes to tier one and the full access bundle. But I am going to change things up after this. Okay. So uh, what that is, I don't know. But you will have to be on basically the full access bundle because I've kind of got a few ideas that I want to do something else. So I'm thinking maybe the weeklies when it comes to the weekly energies that I might only put those out over on Patreon of your star signs. Okay. So I don't really know yet, but uh, it's up to you whether you're on there or not. If you want to watch this, full spread, tier one, tier two, full access bundle, but that's where you'll get all your weeklies, bi-weekly energies or whatever it is that goes after the month. They all go to the full access bundle. Any like, share, comment, subscription, complaint or down, whichever way, I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you want a personal reading or anything like that, you can find all the links provided below. Thank you so much. <laughs> I've got a feeling there's going to be some complaints. Anyway, thank you so much, Gemini. I really do appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you soon.